Hey everybody, it's Jim Morrison with Nerd Truck and Media here at Alamo City Comic Con with MQ Modeling and Cosplay. If you don't know her yet, then obviously you've been hiding under a rock. <laughs> she went all over the world a few months ago with her, like, you know, quote, side boob ray. Side boob ray. So if you don't know her, you all, it's like, you know, you should. She does amazing work. Oh, thank like, you. Like, you know, with Aang right here. <laughs> she was like a steampunk, or like steampunk uh, Jasmine mm -hmm. yesterday. It was just great. Thank you. So, uh, how, or, like, how long ago did you actually get into, like, modeling and cosplay? And, like, um, what made you get it early like, you know? Well, so I was a theater major, um, and I've always been at acting and so when I graduated from college I was like I feel like I was always really nerdy as well and I felt like going to cons was a transition into like the real world and using theater and all that in the real world and so um, I started about four years ago and I went to my first con and I went one day dressed up and the, the other two I wasn't and I felt so weird when I went not dressed up I was like sad so I was like that's never happening again so I'm always going to be dressing up um, and so then I started doing it a little more professionally uh, last year, and then Side Boo Ray kind of exploded, and so now I'm doing it all the time. <laughs> no, I remember, yeah, because I remember that. It's like first you posted it on yours, yes. Then all of a sudden, it's like you know, our is like a or like geek or like you know, geek girls did an article. Yeah. Uh, like geeks are sexy. There's like you were seeing like the, the oh, 20 yeah. different articles. It was everywhere. Featuring, featuring your photo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's like uh, right now you're just like wearing Aang, like yes. all grown up. It's, yes. Uh, it's a it's a female version of Aang because I didn't want to shave my head. So, you know, and he's my favorite character, so I decided to do a female version. So gender, what do they call it? Gender bent costume. Well, it's like, a, or it's like, well, you've seen as like the original one is like airbenders with like, especially when uh, Aang like did it, or it's like meditated. To, yeah, to that's why I have that. Or it's like, or it's like you see like, you know, women with like, you know, full exactly. hair. So exactly, it's all good. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so how long did it take you to make this? This one actually didn't take me that long. It only took me maybe like three or four days. Um, a lot of mine, I make from scratch and I do a lot, most of it by hand. So like my Ray took about three months. Um, some of my steampunk Jasmine that I had yesterday took about uh, maybe like three weeks. So it just kind of depends on the skill level and like what, what I'm doing exactly. Cause this one, there's not a ton to it. You know, it's all just kind of fabric and this, you know, we made this, this is probably what took the longest and that's about it, so. All right, uh, so what do you have planned for the future? Like what can we or it's like see coming up? Um, I will be at Nor uh, North Texas Comic Book Show in Dallas in November. And I will be in Geek at Geek Fair in Shreveport in December. I'll be at the Rogue One premiere as we're premiering my new gin that I'm working on. Oh, yes, yes. I can't wait for that to come out. And then I will be at the marvelous Nerd Year's Eve in Dallas, which is one of Stan Lee's last cons, so I'll be at that one. And I'm sure there's some more up in there. I just those are my big ones. <laughs> oh, cool. So we have plenty to, or it's like plenty to view. Yes. See for you. Yes. All right. And uh, what kind of co uh, what cosplays are you planning on coming out next? Um, my gin I'm working on. Um, I need to have that for the premiere. Um, there's some other special ones I'm working on that are secrets. Um, what else? Oh, I want to do a Wonder Woman, the gold Wonder Woman for the premiere next year as well. So hopefully I'll have that done too. All right. And if there was one thing that you could actually pull either from the set, just like perfectly made for you, what would you like, what would you want? From from Star Wars? Or from anything. Well, it would probably be Star Wars because well, I love Star Wars. I mean, I don't know. They could just give me Ray's staff and I'd be <laughs> really happy because it's so awesome. <laughs> and I could hit people with it. That bother me. Well, I'm just gonna hit you with my awesome race staff. Though I guess I wouldn't want to do that because it's it will be my it would be my prize possession. So. True. <laughs> so awesome race cosplay with awesome race staff. Oh yes, yes. But see, look how good generous she is. I gave her the chance to pick anything. To pick anything. All she wants is one prop. That's all I want. <laughs> oh. Well, I think that's all the questions I have. Awesome. I'm very bad when it comes to questions. Oh, you're good. You're totally but, good. Uh, yeah, look for look more forward. It's like a link to her uh, cosplay page. Yes. It's going to be in the link or link below. Be sure to check her out. Hey, okay, guys. <laughs>